Good morning! Happy Monday, friends! It's Leela here, Leela Gonzalez, author of The Reinvented Woman and founder of LeelaGonzalez.com. And I'm here today to talk to you with Katrina Brink. I am going to invite her on right now. Katrina is the owner of The Empowered Kitchen. And what she does is she empowers people to have more, um, a feeling in the kitchen like they can do it. Like uh, they don't have to eat out all the time because let's just be real, Americans are eating out way too much. They're eating unhealthy. See my fingers, sorry about that in the camera. Uh, they're eating out, they're unhealthy. They're not, more than anything though, like I don't care if you're fat or whatever, but like you don't feel good and that's not that's not good um, so what we're here today is to teach you how to feel good by starting in your own kitchen because let's just be honest it starts <laughs> feeling better starts at home feeling better starts in your body and your mind and I want to say I'm so happy to be back in Denver I was traveling and Katrina's coming out I was traveling so I'm going to talk a little bit about Colorado here in a second before we get started because Katrina is actually from Colorado. There's the kitchen! Woo! <laughs> Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Hi. All right. So I just got back from, I'll, I'll share with you. I just got back. This is, I'm like your perfect client. So say hello to everybody, girl. Hi. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Started out with a good um, poblano pepper fried egg on a tortilla. OMG, poblano fried egg on a tortilla. So let me ask you before we get started, because I'm, I'm like one of your ideal clients. I'm a busy, I don't like to use the word busy, but I use it anyways. I have a, a full schedule and I just was traveling for five days and just returned yesterday. I have a, about a 12 hour day today of work that you know got to do yeah it's just part of my Monday part of my Monday jam and uh, I do that so I have freedom in other parts of the week but um, so and I'm and I'm vegan so can you give us a little insight I know I, what I could replace egg with right so I love this it's like this is a perfect breakfast for someone Sorry. like me who might have just returned from traveling right yeah well um, especially if you've uh, just been gone a few days and done a little bit of meal prep so like just roasted a few things, so we have some roasted veggies ready in the in the fridge. And this is good with just about any roasted vegetable, whatever you like. You can put it with an oh, egg I love for this. a savory breakfast. Yeah. I love this because, I, you know, I tend to, not everybody does this, but I tend to, I like to get my room cleaned up and my bed made and everything ready and feel fresh for when I come home, when I, when I travel, because I don't like to come home to a mess. Because then it feels like I, it just, it feels off. I don't feel like I'm starting my, my return well. So it's just like this. Like if I prepped the food ahead of time, I'd have it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you know you'll just be gone for a weekend or something, the roasted veg vegetables will last for sure. So um, yeah, it's love great. It. I love always having something ready to eat that, you know, you can just throw together really quickly. It's really nice. I love it. Okay, Katrina, will you introduce yourself to everybody just so everybody knows later who's watching? And Marianne, good morning, babe. Oh, so good to see you. Yeah, so um, introduce yourself. Let everybody know, you know, kind of who you are and 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 uh, how you help people and why we're here and, and what you're going to share today. Sure, thanks. So my name is Katrina Brink, and I'm the founder of The Empowered Kitchen. And the goal is to teach you how to meal prep so that you can just have relaxing meals during the week and reduce your food waste. So if you have a little bit of a plan, then you don't have to waste money on food that just rots in your fridge at the end of the week. And yeah, and have yeah. a few skills to know how to put together these delicious gourmet and nutritious meals. So I love this. So it's, it's, it's about, I love what you said about having uh, relaxing meals during the week. So you don't have to rush your meals during the week. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought about that. It totally makes sense, though. So that's what this is actually reducing stress for people during the week. Because how many people have stress? I want to ask everybody, give us a heart, give us a like if you like. Mm -hmm. If you have stress during the week over your meals, I guarantee you if you're a working mom, you do. <laughs> Unless you're like really uh, got it together like Katrina here. 
So if you don't have it together like Katrina, let's learn what she's doing so that you can I don't always stress. have it together. <laughs> For sure. We're gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'll pretend. Um, we're together this yeah. morning. You said relaxing meals and then you also said food waste. And my background's environmental policy, environmental mm -hmm. science. A lot of people out there really care about their earth and about what's going on. And so I love what you're doing. You're bridging this, this idea that food can be a way to bring people together, to reduce stress, and to help save the planet. Yeah, all good things, all things we want more of. Um, so, Yay. yeah, like, we want less stress and angst around, like, dinner time and feeling like you have to sit, stand at a stove for an hour. But if you have things ready to go, you really can take um, – just 10 or 15 minutes and throw together a really nice meal with things you have. When 80% when or 90% of it is already ready, it's so much easier. So, um, yeah. So, yes, it, so it's like amazing meals in, in like 10 to 15 minutes during the week, right? That's what you're saying. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot I of times, it. depending on, yeah, how Beautiful. you, how you prep and prepare and sometimes less if you just have to heat up soup or something. Um, so, what I did yesterday, well, what I also like to show is how to really maximize the use of your oven. So you just, it, for environmental reasons and not heating up your kitchen several times a week and saving money on gas or, or heating or whatever, got um, right. energy. And um, you, by filling your oven with quite a few different vegetables or meats or different things, then you have a lot ready for the week. And Oh, and you're maximizing the use of the oven. Considered the environment as well in that too. When you said the environment, I just wanted to mention that too. It's part of it. Wow, I never, I'm so glad. So I, you know, I spent fifth, I taught environmental policy at Ohio State University, friends. Mm -hmm. So like I taught stuff, but there's still so much more that we can always, every day we can learn something. So I love this. I never thought about it, Katrina. Never even phased me that we could save energy by putting more in the oven at one time. Hey, James. Yeah. Hey, Elon. Want to overflow, overflow it. I mean, like, fill it, fill it, because then the air won't circulate and it'll take longer to cook. But, um, right? yeah, okay. you can still get quite a bit. Don't go energy. overboard, Leela. Yeah. Don't go, oh, I, I tend to go a little extreme, so I go all the way. And I was like, Katrina, my food didn't cook. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kim Hightower is here. Do you, know, do you know Kim Hightower? I do know Kim well. Thank you. Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> and Aurélie, right, salut Aurélie. I see one of my French friends. Um, and oh, I saw French and Michelle. French All right, let's teach these French and your French friend and Kim how to uh, make some yummy breakfast. <laughs> nice. And I saw Katrina Godfrey, I know from my old hometown, Liberty, Missouri. So hi, Katrina, too. Um, okay. Um, so I've warmed up our pan. Would you like me to get started or did you have? Yeah, go ahead and get started. And Kim said, what are you making today? So go ahead and let everybody know again, because so, you have to say it a few times. We'll hop on. So I have a tortilla here. We're making roasted poblano pepper with fried eggs and a little bit, and we have some salsa here as well. Uh, so roasted I have these. Poblano pepper on a, ooh, girl, look at that. Um, so we have two here. Um, I'll just use one. I just wanted to show you. Um, on one of these, let's see, there's still, so when the pepper roasts, so yesterday I roasted these, um, for a little while at 400 degrees, and then I also put them under the broiler. You can just put, <clears throat> you can just put them under the broiler or even char them over an open flame, but be really careful if you char it over an open flame, of course. Um, and so they'll that, start blistering. So that's like, if you go like in Colorado, for example, they'll have like, like the Hispanics will have sometimes trucks set up, right? And and they'll have, like, you can buy them on the side of the road, but you're doing them at home. Yeah, yeah. So I just, um, I like to put my broiler on low because I'm notorious for burning things. <laughs> High <laughs> it can be dangerous. So I put it on low and, um, and put it on a, on a sheet pan and watch it. Um, after 10 minutes or so, kind of see how it's doing. And if it has a few kind of blisters or it's starting to bubble up a little bit, um, you can flip them over, take it out, and use a, use some tongs or something to flip them over. And um, then when, they, when they're all roasty and kind of soft, you can take them out of the oven. When you can poke through it with a knife really easily, then it's done. And take it out, 
and it'll be it'll have a few kind of blackish spots or brownish and that's fine you don't want to have it can we see can you put it up to the camera let us see a little bit yeah. what you're doing because it's hard to see yep so show us here I, I know you're taking the skin off get a little closer so and then well, show us the skin <laughs> cool um, i've taken off most of the skin already actually let's see you don't yes, yeah i took off the um papery outer stuff most of it sometimes i don't I don't get so finicky that I get it all off because it just takes too long. But um, right when you take it out of the oven, when it's still hot, if you put them in a bowl and put a lid on top or a plate on top, it will steam them. It'll keep steaming it, so then that skin is really easy to take off. It's kind of a trick okay. to help get that, that skin off. So do it right away when they're still steaming hot. Put them in something that will keep that steam in for 15 minutes or so, and then that steam will be easier to take off um so i, pulled I love off. it yeah kim hightower said great tip yeah that is so good so i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna do a little recap because you know this stuff so i'm gonna recap for everybody as you're doing the next step so she says take the poblano pepper put it in the oven on a sheet at, and broil it or, uh, or or bake it at a high degree right and mm -hmm. watch yeah. it so it doesn't burn and then when the skin starts to kind of start to bubble up and get maybe a little bit darker uh, that's when you take it out and then you put it in a container with the lid on it so it gets hot and steamy and then the skin starts to come away from the pepper. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and you can do that like the day you've roasted them. So then they're just ready in your fridge. You can store them with the peel off and everything. Put them in a little container and you have them ready for when you need them. Um, so and I, I keep love them this because I'm like a person who I like to cook actually in the mornings. I don't like to cook at night as much. I like to cook. If I'm going to cook, I want to cook in the morning when I have more energy. So that would be perfect for somebody like me who, or if you like to cook in the afternoon or on a Saturday or whatever, and you want to eat it on a Wednesday, you just make your peppers ahead of time and then put them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's like ready to go. All you have to do at that point is chop them up like I just did. So I, I sliced them long, kind of julienne style, and then I sliced them again. So we have some little pieces like this now. <laughs> you okay, can see. Cool. And um, I'm just going to go rinse off my hands a little bit. And then I have our, uh, our pan is on kind of a close to medium heat, just a little under medium. Just one moment. Okay. All right, Finn. So I want to I want to ask you: Do you ever eat uh, tortilla and eggs and peppers in the morning? Do you ever? What are your like? I love breakfast burritos and I love tacos for breakfast. So I'm wondering if anybody out there loves, um, uh, or even um, huevos rancheros. I don't eat eggs now, but I used to. And I would. I'm sure there's like a, I should you know find a vegan form formula. <laughs> yeah. For uh, huevos rancheros, it's, that's what this kind of reminds me of a little bit. Yeah. I'm not as familiar with vegan eggs, but yeah, I'm sure there's lots of good stuff out there. I have some vegan friends that could, could give me some info on that. Yeah, um, I love it. We live in a time now. There's so much. We have so many options. It's like, it's amazing. Yeah. So this, um, just so everybody knows, um, with our kind of like explaining everything and chatting, and this, um, it takes a little longer on the video than it would take you at home. So this could be done in like five minutes or so if you already have your your peppers done. So I want you to know that this would be a quick, easy breakfast for you, even during the weekday, if you get up in time to just make an egg for yourself real fast. So what I'm doing is I, I warmed up our tortilla a little bit in the pan that's hot, so you can have a nice warm tortilla. And I have some coconut oil. Is there oil in there or no oil? Um, yeah, you need to put oil because your eggs will stick for sure if you don't with put the tortilla oil. though. Oh, in the tortilla, excuse me. Nope, I just put it in a dry pan, yeah. So no oil. Okay just to warm it in the dry pan. So now I put the oil in after I took the tortilla out. Good cool. Catch. Kim Hightower says, Kim Hightower says, me too. <laughs> she says, love that for breakfast. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to put the pepper now to warm up a little bit in that oil. Beautiful. And then I'll just kind of, in my spatula, so I'll move it to a side so I can fit an egg in there. And if you have two people you're picking for or you want to make two eggs for yourself, um, you can fit two, just fit two in your pan. So you can get that all done at once. Um, I'll just do one. The pepper and the, you're cooking the pepper and the egg together. Yep. So there's some pepper in there. I'll show you in a second. 
So I just crack it right in the pan since we're doing fried egg. So oh, and I'm did you? I would love to ask you how many of you crack eggs as gracious or as gracefully as Katrina? Because that was a pretty <laughs> gracefully cracked egg, right, friends? <laughs> If you're watching later, give me some hearts if you think she just cracked that egg pretty gracefully with ease. I'm going to tell you, she's going to do this other one, too. It's going to be like, that's what, when you when you do it a lot and when you teach people what how to, you know, cook and stuff, they, you know what you're doing. For me, I get on the edge of the pan, and then I crack it, and then it gets some <laughs> shell in there, and then I, you know, try to get it out like 10 it's times, never... and then it's like, finally, like half the egg comes out, and then I'm like picking the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to me before too. No worries. Um, so I'm gonna put a little salt, just a little bit of salt in there too. Um, I have, I mean, you don't have to do any of this. You can just do salt and pepper. I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on here because I like garlic powder. Start out the day with garlic breath. It's great. <laughs> People will love you. And then um, this is chili powder. So chili powder. I like spice. These poblanos are kind of spicy to begin with, so you probably don't need a lot of extra, but. Um, okay. I'm going to pick this up so you can see. Look at that. That is a beautiful breakfast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, you can yeah, put Kim that. She cracks her on the pan too. You're a graceful, you're no, you're, you're definitely getting known as a graceful egg cracker, Katrina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I was right. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. So if you want, uh, oh gosh, I'm totally blanking. Sunny side up is when you don't flip them over. And then um, over easy is when you do flip them over. So um, I'm making mine over easy today. I'm just going to flip it over. It's a little faster. You could put like a lid on to steam the top a little bit or something, or just wait till everything's cooked the way you like it. But okay. I don't have that much time in the morning to wait, so... <laughs> It's gonna go ahead and yeah, and this, I can totally see how this is like a pretty simple meal. Like everybody knows about how long it takes to cook an egg, and you're, yeah. what you're showing us, it's like it takes about as long to cook an egg as this meal takes to make, right? Yeah, like, yeah, pretty much. For With the, the chopping of, prep. Yeah, of the vegetable or whatever. Yeah, whatever vegetable you're using. Um, I'm gonna save a little of my pepper for my next egg, um, and I have some salsa here. So I, if you want to um, warm up your salsa, you can also just like put that in the pan for a minute to kind of warm it up so it's not as cold and doesn't cool your food. Oh, down. I've never thought about warming up my salsa. I don't know. Does anybody out there warm up their salsa? No, oh, I love <laughs> um, that. I just I've never it all warm. It Since your pan is hot, it's kind of something I do sometimes. So um, I love that idea. Eggs cool down so fast that the sauce, cold salsa would make it cool down even faster. So, um, Well, I know exactly what that's like, too, when you have an egg and, and, uh, or something, and then you put salsa on it, and then it kind of changes the meal to be more of a cold meal. So mm -hmm. I have never thought about warming up my salsa, girl. I'm going to warm up my oh, salsa. Yeah. Look at that. Breakfast. Oh, my gosh. Show us a picture. Get, do, go, go ahead and go in there and, like, give us a little picture so we can see it for a minute, and I'll do a face like <laughs> wow that's beautiful too it looks so pretty mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, um, All right. so let me ask you oh my gosh so yeah you just gave us I mean you gave us so many tips I love the uh tip about the pepper I love the tip about you know you cook cooking the food together you even did it not only in the oven but in the pan you cook the peppers and the egg together and then Kim says she's drooling now. Of course we are. I'm drooling. She's drooling. I guarantee you anybody who's watching later is going to be drooling because we want this. Uh, she says, I haven't worn my salsa, but I will now. And that, that was a really good tip. Marianne Anderson said, yummy too. So I want to ask you, like, how are you helping people right now? What are you, what, what is the Empowered Kitchen um, offering right now? So right now I am teaching classes in person in Denver. And so we can um, find a kitchen that works for both of us where we can hold the class. And I'll custom, um, I have a foundation for what the class looks like, but I talk with people and, and can customize it to your, to your dietary needs. And mm. uh, mostly 
Um, I can accommodate most dietary needs. Sometimes there's a few that are a little challenging, but I can definitely work with most. And and then yeah, people um, are like gluten free and 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 dairy free and soy free, and there's a lot yeah. of freeness going yeah. on. So you that's probably impact. So that's empowering if you can empower people to make yummy food and still yeah. be free of their things. There's a lot of good good things out there that aren't wheat. So there's plenty. Of, yeah, there's all kinds of great stuff. And um, yeah, so I can teach also online, we can do video conferencing. So if you're anywhere in the world, we can do a video conferencing cooking class, you from your kitchen, me from mine. And um, we cook together and I can do coaching. So I'll consult with you ahead of time and also follow up with you in the weeks after to just help guide you through, see how your week went with your meal prep and what you liked, what you didn't. And uh, and just any tips that you need going forward, and and so I'll support you for the weeks after as well. Um, so you'll be so. Well, if if somebody were to work with you, would they um, be able? Like they would learn how to prep for an entire week. Yes. Right? Yes. Thank so you. You could have these like 10, 10 to fifteen minute relaxing meals, right? Like you were saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can spend that, uh, that three hours, it depends on what you're making, but three hours to three and a half or so hours on a weekend, and you have all of your building blocks to throw together your meals, so you know you have really healthy, really good things um, to throw together in the evening when you come home, and you don't have to ask your partner or yourself or whoever is there, what's for dinner, and what are we going to eat? And Oh my God, I want to ask everybody right now, because, okay, so Katrina's going to solve your problem of... How many of you like cannot stand the question? I mean, I love the question because I love food and I'm all I'm always willing to be like, ooh, right? But I know a lot of people don't like this where it's like, what's for dinner? What are we gonna eat? Whether it be the kids or their spouse or their friend, you know, their their roommates, if they're eating with somebody else, many people, I love the question because I'm all about food. I love food. But many people don't like that decision point. It's a choice yeah. point where they have to decide and they're like, they have so many other decisions going on in their life that yeah. like choosing what to eat is like the last thing they want to think about. Yeah. So you are coming in and saying, Hey friends, like if you just spent like two to three hours on the weekends, uh, you know, you'll be f for yeah. two to three hours for the next seven days yeah. of peace. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, even in two hours, you can prep quite a bit. I, you can get a lot chopped and a few things cooked. If you spend three hours, you can really get a lot done where you have soups made and some things actually cooked and ready. So you don't even, like, you can just heat it up and go rather than yeah. do a little bit of assembly. I, I like to show people, like, how you have a lot ready and then you have a few things you need to assemble and you have a great dinner. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Before we go, thank you so much. So uh, will you put a link at afterwards in the comments so people can find you? Sure, definitely. Thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> Hope you yeah, enjoyed it. Have a good breakfast. I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. Okay. You ready? Okay. I got okay. arugula. I got, I got arugula in my fridge. Oh yeah. Nice. What's it? What, what would you pair it with? What would you, what's, how would you, what's up? What's the, the first like recipe or the first meal that comes to mind with arugula? Mm. I mean, you could put a little baked salmon or something on top of arugula. That's always good. A lemon vinaigrette or arugula under this would be great on your on your to so start your day with some good greens, like on a on your toast or tortilla with an egg and just that would yeah. be really good. Uh, even like avocado toast, we could add arugula to avocado toast. Oh, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. All right, girl. I like it. What do you want? Are you getting ready to eat that? Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> as soon as we're off. Okay, I was going to say, if not, will you drive it over to my house? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I love you, girl. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to let everybody know, you know, thank you for being here because this is really about you. And if you have any recipes you want to learn even, send them our way. Let us know. And maybe we can see if Katrina will, will, will put them together. Oh, Kim Hightower says she wants a bite. So after you come to my house... Go ahead and okay. drive to her house, and I'll, we'll save a bite for her. <laughs> okay, yeah, really. I love it. And and um, I lost I lost her any thought because I was getting in the food so much. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause because I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, I got distracted too. I was listening. Um, I was the, it's the food. Every time my brain goes to my belly and I start thinking about food, there's a possibility I'll lose train of thought. And I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. Because food's amazing. It's what we're made of. Um, oh, I know what I was going to tell everybody. It just came back to me. I knew if I let go of it, it would come back. It's always, it's always a, let go of people, they'll come back. Let go of thoughts, they'll come back. <laughs> let go of those limiting beliefs, and they mm -hmm. won't come back, hopefully. Um, is that next week, I wanted to share before we go hop off so that like people can get excited about mm -hmm. next week. Next week, we're going to be doing a lunch, right? Yeah, we'll do some, we'll do lunch and, uh, it will yeah. incorporate roasted veggies and I don't know what else yet, but it will be <laughs> forthcoming. So stay tuned. Roasted veggie lunch. What a wonderful thing to have during the winter too. Roasted veggies are so nice in the winter. They're very grounding. Uh, and they're very um, hearty, and they keep us a little bit more, I, I want to say grounded, but really just uh, even insulated from the inside, right? They keep us a little bit warmer. They come from the earth. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I will see you next week. All right, Chica? Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And everybody out there, the reason I'm, I'm going to, one more thing, because I always say goodbyes like an Italian mom. Um, it's like 10, it's like going to take 10 minutes, right? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, totally. Um, you know, if you if the reason I'm having Katrina come on is that, you know, I, I, I teach entrepreneurs and I teach leaders and I teach, you know, anybody who wants to be empowered to grow, to expand, to really align with their vision and move forward towards it. You know, and I've, I've um, food, the way you live, your lifestyle has so much to do with your success in life, whether it be in your career, in your relationships, or in your health, your bank account, anywhere. Whatever you want to do, it's so important to feed your soul, to feed your body, to use the food, live the lifestyle. How you do anything is how you do everything. So if you're willing to spend the time, commitment to your health, your food, that you put in your body, the commitment to your vision will grow. The commitment to your relationships will grow. The commitment to your to your health, to growing your bank account, all of that stuff will change based upon you doing these eggs in the morning. Okay, friends? <laughs> Seriously, though, it really matters what you put in your body. And I'm really grateful for you, Katrina, because you bring another, like you bring food, but you bring it to us in a way that's, it's, it's easeful. You make it easy. And then also you're really helping a bigger vision, right? You're helping individuals, you're helping them with their lives, but then you're helping this bigger vision of saying, how can we re reduce food waste and save the planet? And it starts in the kitchen. Love it, girl. I love it. Thank you so much for bringing this offering to my audience and, and anybody out there who think, you know, who found this recipe helpful or, you know, wants to connect with Katrina, go ahead and share this video uh, with your friends too. We would love more Facebook friends because that's, we're all about connecting around the world and Facebook gives us opportunity to do that. So thank you. All right. I'll see you next week, Chica. Thank Have you. Have a good week. It's fine. Have all a good right. week, everybody. Bye. Bye.